Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with another SnowRunner mod review and today I'm super excited. We have the classic crew. Uh, this has such a su substantial amount of detail to it in the suspension, in the tires, some really innovative work here. I'm super excited to put this kind of through the test here at, at uh, in Wisconsin, but y'all know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you drop a sub on the channel, guys. We're going to kind of put this thing to the test. Um, you don't want to miss this. This truck has got me really excited. I haven't been this excited for a uh, square body in a long time. But again, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video. Drop a sub on the channel, guys. Let's jump into it. Alrighty, guys. Time to check out the Classic Crew. This looks it looks pretty promising. I Again, this is another mod I haven't really taken a look at yet. We have three engines, the grocery getter spec 556 horsepower, the stockage spec 405 horsepower, the trail runner supercharge 800 horsepower. We're going to go with this one. We have low and slow experimental crawler trans stockish spec 6 speed, tow and haul 10 speed trans or trail runner spec 6 speed. Let's go with the low and slow experimental crawler. We got king of the hammer spec Lifted tow and haul spec, stockish, stockish, tow and haul, and trail runner spec. Let's go with the uh, king of the hammers. We got 37. Oh, there's a lot of tire options here. This looks nice. Look at the detail there in the suspension with the Fox. Wow. That is incredible. All right. 37 Baja TAs. 38 Baja Claw, 38 Trepidor, 37 Super Swamper, 39 Bogger, 38 Creepy Crawler, 38 Pitbull Rocker, BFG Crawler, 39, 38 Thornbird. Oh, these are nice. 38 IROC, 41 Baja TA, 41 Baja Claw, 43 Trepidor, 42 Super Swamper TSL, 43 Bogger. Uh, kind of cycling through. And we also have uh, Defuse Chained versions, uh, Subtle Snow and Ice Tire. Which, you know what, I might actually take this truck into uh, the new map. Okay, I really, really enjoy the Thornbird quite a bit. So we're going to go with the 42 Thornbird. We've got the Trail Runner Spec 12 Volt Winch. We've got Diff Lock. We've got the Super Trick Invisible Roll Cage Snorkel. Tow and Haul, we got the Gooseneck Hitch if we want it. Or Shorty Tow Hitch. Let's add both. It'll only let you have one or the other. I wish it would let you have both. Interior, we got a gun rack. Bumpers, we got a license plate. Body, we got stock hood. Rear cab molding. That's all there. Off-road protection classic. Bull guard, trail runner spec protection. Trail runner spec protection there. All right, that looks incredible. Tire carrier. So you choose the rim. This is cool. All right. All right. We're going to go with... The KMC Machete Beadlock Black. Then you choose a tire. Absolutely brilliant. There we go. Alright, let's pull down and see what it can do, guys. Alrighty, guys. So let's set the waypoint here. Get the route set up a little bit. Let's go down here. Let's go through here. I think there might be. Do not. I feel like there is something that I wanted to do, but this is always a really good test. So we're going to run this kind of all the way through here, guys. We want this to be ready for Greenwoods River kind of thing, so. We're going to take the truck up there and leave it probably uh, just on the side of the road here. Wait till you hear the sound. The engine sound? Incredible. Interior detail, 10 out of 10. Just looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. So much detail here. I'm, I'm honestly amazed. Mirrors work. The gauges do not work. That's all right, though. I imagine... That'll probably be a later update. I might have chose the flex suspension. This 
supposed to be an indestructible suspension, is what it's advertised as. Which is good, because you want it to last. Wow, we are kind of just cruising through here. I am, uh, guys, I am at a loss for words right now. This is, uh, this is honestly incredible. I don't know what to say other than that. This truck is insane. I remember when this map first came out, this little bit of mud was like the worst thing that could happen to you in uh, so many trucks. And you know, it doesn't seem OP at all. It seems extremely balanced. This is crazy. Now let's put it in a high gear here. high until we have to take it down but uh, from what I remember high wasn't an option even through this stuff and we're so far doing okay we've hit a couple of spots where we kind of get slowed down quite a bit but overall we're still pushing through it's almost like this truck loves high gear oh the horn is Absolutely insane. We're bogging down a little bit. We're not at a standstill yet. go and we're plowing through it again guys fuel consumptions not realistic. It's the only complaint I have. And I know some people might say it defeats the purpose going with an indestructible suspension, but I mean, IRL, if you wanted to spend enough money, you could get a really heavy duty suspension. So, maybe not indestructible, but really heavy duty. That is my only gripe, it's just fuel consumption not being balanced in my opinion. That's it. It's the only grip I have so far. And we've just been keeping this in uh, high gear which is crazy. This bit of mud I've been going through guys this was uh, challenging in my opinion for Black Badger Lake and this truck is just like nah we're gonna own it and I love these tires I don't know what it is but these tires just really stand out for me just plowing through it. I can't count how many trucks I had come to a standstill here. And I don't want to say this is 
This is where the truck met its match. So I don't think this is it. I really don't. It's very pretty good though. This right here is why I don't think this truck is OP. I know a lot of people watching are going to say that it's OP. I really don't think it is. Can we crawl out of this? I almost wonder if we can. I think we have a chance here. Let's grab the winch. it just like that we're back in high gear and hitting the road we got to hit this marker fortunately let's go up and hit it drop back down for a long wheelbase the turning radius on this seems crazy good not struggle to turn which is really good to see overall oh we took some damage a little bit of wheel damage I think so it's not as indestructible as it seemed originally a little more wheel or tire damage there to be expected when you're driving through stuff like this though. even crossing this and <laughs> getting stuck in it and the, the strength of the tide just swept me. It was crazy. I can't remember if the truck flipped over, guys, or if it uh, just took me with it, but one or the other happened and it wasn't great. That is all I remember. It was a lot of fun, though, to say the least.
Alright guys, we're going to park the truck up here. That's going to conclude today's review of this beautiful classic crew. 10 out of 10 recommend. Download the link is going to be in the description, guys. It's been a lot of fun. We're going to leave this bad boy here for now. And uh, we're going to bring a couple other trucks up with us so we, uh, for comparison tests, too. And I'm super excited. But, again, thanks so much for dropping in. Make sure you drop a like on the video and a sub on the channel, guys.